Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to the next two weeks for January 10th to the 23rd. Now, this reading is going to cover uh, for anyone who is in a relationship or has a love interest. And then also we're doing to do single separate reads. So, guys, you can feel free to check out both reads if you want, because you have told me in the past in the comments that sometimes one read resonates more than the other or both resonate. So check out both and let me know which one resonates the most for you. All right, so thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, The Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com, and all the information is in the description box below. And if you'd like a personal read with me, it's JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, and if you guys like it this way for this reading, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on with my Virgo's romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look. What the heck is going on? We got the Eight of Pentacles energy. The potential is the Two of Pentacles energy. The Emperor is the focus right now. In the past, Four of Pentacles. The blockage is the Knight of Wands, okay. And the advice is the Chariot card energy and the influence is actually the Nine of Cups. And we see that the likely outcome, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Three of Swords, okay. So let's bring this all together and talk about it and we're gonna clarify and get more information here. Okay, so we got the Eight of Pentacles energy. Some of you may be focused on work, on the sense of effort here. Um, some of you may be focused on work or school, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles energy right now at this moment. Or for your romantic love life, there seems to be a sense of work or effort around it, okay? So um, we see that your potential actually is some juggling going on about a decision. So it's kind of like, oh man, I gotta get some stuff together and I gotta make this decision, this heavy decision here with this Two of Pentacles energy. There's a lot of work-related cards here for you guys coming up for the next couple weeks, okay? Because uh, I see the Emperor card is saying, okay, the focus needs to be you need to take charge of this. You need to take control of your situation here. You need to have a sense of order and structure in your romantic love life here. Um, so you can make a decision to put the work or effort into your situation. In the past... There was a situation where you guys were just like, all right, I want to hold on to you, Virgo. I want to be with you, okay? I feel like we can be successful in this connection. And we see, actually, the blockage seems to be mm -hmm, some passionate chemistry there with the Knight of Wands energy or a lack of uh, passion and chemistry for some of you. And we see that the focus for you guys needs to be to take charge of your situation. Again, it seems like it's interesting that that's the Emperor card and that's the Chariot card. Some of you guys need to really structure and organize their situation and go with what you want here. Use your willpower to charge ahead here, okay, so you can be victorious. Because it is saying your influence is the Nine of Cups. You're going to get everything that you want here with the Nine of Cups energy being the influence for your Virgo coming in for January 10th to the 23rd. You're getting everything you want. There is a strong desire to make this heavy decision and gain power in putting the work or effort into holding on to the situation when it comes to an action towards passion, Knight of Wands energy. So let's go further here, Virgo. What's gonna have my Virgo's romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, we got the Crossroads card coming out for what the heck is going on. We got the Clover card for the potential. We have the Rider card for the suggested approach right now. We have the Doll card for the past. We have the Clouds card for the blockage. We have the Letter card for the um, your advice. And we have the Mountain card for the influence. Okay. So what the heck is going on? There's some indecisions. Should I put the work or effort into the situation? I need to make a choice. Your potential is a reconciliation and doing some juggling back and forth of like, man, what am I gonna do? Do I wanna reconcile with this person or do I wanna take a risk or gamble on this connection? And then we see the writer card is the focus. What do you desire? What do you want here, okay? Uh, you want to take an action towards what you feel passionate about with the writer card energy. Um, you want to give this person news, 
right? Maybe you need to pay this person a visit so that things can be organized and structured in a certain way, or there's a sense of routine here in your situation. We see in the past there was a friend here or some sense of loyalty, and we see the doll card coming out. Okay, so there's loyalty or friendliness or loyalty around your situation when it came to your romantic love uh, light, life. And uh, it definitely was a situation where someone's like, I want to hold on to Virgo. I want to be loyal to Virgo, right? Okay, so, and then we see that the block, it seems to be, I'm confused here about this potential passionate chemistry with this Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So there's some indecisions about that. And then we see your advice is you need to communicate some things here when it comes to a text message, letter, document, when it comes to your desires. And then we see the influences. You're overcoming some blockages and challenges and getting what you want here with the Knight of Cups energy. So delays and challenges because of text message, letter, or document, and taking a risk or gamble and some indecisions and in news when it comes to this friend or loyalty and a sense of confusion around that. Okay, so let's keep going here, Virgo. What's going to have my Virgo's romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so yes, yeah, some shocking surprises, a sense of breakthrough here coming in here with the transformation card. And it looks like you guys are going to have to make this decision very soon as your potential about a reconciliation or taking a risk here. And it looks like you guys, the focus needs to be right now on your opportunity for success around your romantic love life. In the past, there was a relationship, there was loyalty, and you held on to that situation. And we see money and finance seems to be affecting your romantic love life and causing a sense of confusion here in your situation. And your advice, again, is saying assert yourself. Take charge of your destiny here. And it looks like there may be some blockages, delays, and challenges getting what you want. There may be some sense of wanting to be single and available to pursue for some of you. Okay, single and available to pursue, needing to assert yourself and take control of your situation. And you're gonna have to make a decision very soon because there's an opportunity here and some changes happening when it comes to a relationship because of money and finance. Okay, so let's now talk about the likely outcome here, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I wanna be very nurturing and supportive this person's taking romantic gestures towards you because they have a sense of heartache about the connection, okay? Or some of you may be dealing with more than one person involved in your situation. Cause of Three of Swords can talk about a third party, and we see two people cards. So let's get more clarity here. There's something very surprising about a person and someone who is maybe not telling the complete truth, the Fox card energy. Maybe some deceptions here. We see that... I'm trying to give myself some time to heal the connection. I want to have a, a positive outcome, a hopeful outcome with you, but I really do have uncertainty about this situation. Okay, so let's clear this all up here and let's go further into this. Okay, so Virgo, it looks like for some of you guys, there may be a third party situation going on or there may be um, a wonder if there's a third party situation going on because the Fox card is coming out saying that maybe somebody is not telling the truth here and it's causing a lot of uncertainty in the connection. However, we see that the hope card is here and it's saying that all hope is not lost with your situation, that you can still have a favorable outcome, that possibly the reason why that's going on is because there's still a healing energy around this, okay? Um, also, for some of you, this could be saying that I'm trying to be nurturing, supportive, and romantic with you because I feel hurt about the situation. I don't know how to be honest with you. I have uncertainty about where I stand in the connection, but I'm still hopeful we can have a positive outcome, and I really do want to heal the connection. Okay, and Virgo, you can also check out your monthlies, which is going to give you the whole span of January. Um, let's go a little further on this. Okay, so we see there's an abrupt decision being made because of regrets about what the past was, but it looks like there's going to be an effort made towards the connection. Okay, so let's keep going. And feel free to check out the singles reads as well So and see if that resonates with you. All right, so let me clear this out of the way, Virgo. Okay. All 
right, what's gonna have my Virgo singles romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? What's gonna have my Virgo singles romantic love life January 10th to the 23rd? Show me the cards in need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's take a look at this. What the heck is going on right now? We got the strength card. We got the chariot card for the potential. We got the knight of swords for the focus. We got the full card for the past. We have the ace of cups for the blockage. The advice, king of wands. And the devil card for the influence, the likely outcome, page of pentacles. Six of wands and the five of swords. Okay. So what's going on? What the heck is going on right now? I do feel like Virgo, I know we're talking about singles, but I do feel like there is someone around you, okay, because that's what I feel like from this energy here. Uh, someone that you may not be aware of, maybe you're having a good time, and they're kind of always there, they're always by your side, okay, um, because they are there, and I feel like there is potential here for this situation because we see two people holding each other. There is strong desires around this connection, okay, and then we see that your focus right now needs to be making a decision uh, or don't rush into anything with the Knight of Swords energy. In the past, there was someone new here with a full card energy or there was a sense of I'm going into this situation pretty blind and I'm confused about it. And we see that the, the action, the blockage for you guys is, is there true love here? Is there feelings here with the Ace of Cups energy? Or there's nobody I really love here with the Ace of Cups energy. But Spirit is saying that there could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here with the King of Wands. Or they're saying you need to make the best decision based on um, passion and chemistry. Okay? And we do see that, okay, the influence is the Devil card energy. So someone may be very obsessive about you with a temperance, the a temptation card. Or there is a strong temptation here. So we see that there's strong desires, strong attachments, and trying to make the best decision when it comes to passion and chemistry. And there's desire here to move on this very fast, but it's like a lack of courage or strength in taking a risk towards an opportunity of true love here with the Ace of Cups energy. So let's keep going. Virgo singles romance of love life for January 10th to the 23rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. See, okay, what the heck is going on right now? We got the tower card and the potential. Look at the potential, there's a ring there. And we got the garden card and we have the letter card for the past, the ship card, we have the mountain card and we have the bouquet card. What the heck is going on right now? Well, you guys are, you know, single and available to pursue, but there is this strength and courage of somebody there. And we see the potential again is a ring, which is a commitment, engagement, or marriage. And there's strong desire for this. Mm -hmm. And then we see, look at that, the focus right now, there's people involved. Garden card for Lenormand can talk about the fact you do have some options here, okay? That you can make a decision about, okay? Or not rushing into, into, into anything, or could be seen with a garden card energy right now. Maybe you need to just get out, socialize, hang out, see what happens. Don't rush into anything. Knight of Swords energy. Don't make any abrupt decisions. Knight of Swords energy. In the past, there was some kind of letter, message, document, text message you received from somebody who took a risk or a leap of faith or someone who was new. And then we see that the block, it seems to be for some of you, possibly some of you are dealing with situations where you're dealing with somebody online or far away, okay, with the ship card energy. Or it's like, okay, you know, I'm really missing this person that I used to love with the Ace of Cups energy. That's for some of you as well. And then we see what's the focus right now? What's the advice? It's time for you to overcome your challenges and your blockages here and make this best decision for you when it comes to chemistry and passion. Okay, and then we have, there is, there is a surprising situation happening here in the influence, okay, with the Devil Card energy there. There's a strong temptation to socialize or there is a surprising attraction here with the bouquet card energy, we see a surprise, delays and challenges and a commitment because of other people and someone who's not exactly single and available to pursue because of a letter, messenger, document, because of some kind of movement, travel, or change with uh, ship card energy. So let's go further. What is going on with my Virgo singles romantic love life 
for January 10th to the 23rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's take a look. What the heck is going on right now? Yeah, there's someone who's, as I told you, there's someone is very nurturing and supportive right now to you. They are around you. Yes, and look at that potential. Virgo tells me that there's a hopeful outcome for you guys. So don't lose hope. And we see spirits like, look, you need to take some time to do some soul searching, to look at things deeply when it comes to your options, your choices, and don't rush it into anything. And we see in the past there was a connection, but there was uncertainty about whether or not it was a true romantic connection. And we see your blockage seems to be your like, kind of like, you guys are kind of feeling like, this is just the wrong time, you know, we met at the wrong place, the wrong time, it just didn't align for us. And again, the Spirit is saying it's time to overcome your challenges and not let negative, unhealthy obstacles get in your way, okay? And again, the, the cutting card is coming out, an abrupt decision, a, a sense of temptation or a lot of obsessions about this particular attraction. So we see cutting these challenges away, there's this hopeful energy, you just have to give yourself some time alone, and there's a nurturing and supportive energy, even though there's a sense of uncertainty, things will turn in your favor. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen here because your likely outcome really looks good, Virgo. Okay, so you guys are gonna get some good news with the Page of Pentacles energy and a victory here with the Six of Wands. Someone wants your attention. But I do feel like you're kind of like, I feel like this person's trying to reach out to you but you're kind of like not ignoring them. You're kind of ignoring them. You're not paying attention to them. That's what I feel like from this particular card. So let's see what that's about. Star card, there's someone hopeful here. Strength card, bear card, and a person card's coming out, right? This is hopeful energy here, star card, okay? Of some good news about a potential long-term commitment. Um, and we see this person's trying to find that strength and courage and confidence to get your attention. And we see that there's a person here that's giving you this defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? Yeah, we see family, long-term commitment, and a sense of happiness, 10 of cups energy, and romantic feelings here. Virgo, what did I tell you? You got some good stuff coming in here. Okay. All right, my beautiful Virgos. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two. There's multiple readings for you guys to go watch right now. The weeklies, which is your day-to-day -day and your overall, and your monthlies, which is love, career and finance, and health and wellness are all up and available for you guys to watch right now. The next reading that I'm coming out, guys, in another day or two is what do they secretly want to tell you? And considering the fact that we see there's romantic feelings that's going to make you very happy and there's potential for some family long-term commitment here, you may want to check out that reading. <laughs> All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple weeks, and I will see you guys soon.